Are you tired of 15-0 battles and dying with 0 damage? Do you know what the best heavy tank is in the current meta of 5 minute games? Well, I'm about to show you my favorite pick. This first battle was absolutely insane. I got fully surrounded in a crazy 1v5 situation. But are we going to win this somehow? We are playing safe haven and since we have an extremely OP gun at close range, we start off by driving straight to the tunnel waiting for unsuspecting opponents. That A4 is not gonna be happy about that one, bro. We can go for the WZ in a second now. As you can see, the burst firepower is absolutely mental in this meta, as you can dish out 1600 damage in just 6 seconds. Oi, 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 oi. A very important aspect of playing autoloaders is to aim your shot super carefully. You can see I am moving the mouse very slowly to aim between shells. Yeah, the ST2 needs a little bit of armor upgrade, man. Bro, this game is actually kind of close. Not even one yet. I think we are actually losing this, man. From a one game, I noticed that there is a bad shit behind us, so I head back to get him. Come on, bad shit. Make your move. Shoot your load. After getting him, I quickly get on top of the bunker to support my team on the field. They have a lot of TDs, 12. They have two TDs still. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually the only one with the HP left. I guess I'll go for the T30 then. I cannot even get the T30 with from one clip, guys. That's a problem. Where is this guy? Just don't tell me he's gonna camp there on the rest of the battle, man. That would be kind of lame. What do you think, Chad? I realized our team is dying, so I had to urgently help them, but by the time I got there, I was the only one left. Do I need to kill the waffle before somebody gets to me? I'm getting spotted. Yeah, the RGM is pushing now there. I go instantly on reload because I know that I have a bit of time before they get to me. As the enemy T30 finishes off our last ally, the RT, I find myself in a 1v5 situation with very little hope to win, but they are about to experience the power of this tank. Oh, he went around. The super quick reload of 22 seconds allows me to quickly replenish my shells and face them once again with the help of Riverside Scraping. At this point I understood that this is going to be extremely hard to win. The RHM has incredible view range and firepower and given that I have no HP and if the RHM is smart and keeps his distance, this will be a tough one. Well winning this will be very hard here. We should try and kill the RT I think. He's probably gonna sit up there with the RHM. What's a good thing to do here? Maybe try and kill the RT. I only have two shells left, man. This origin is not a bad player, though, I gotta say, dude. Is there a way that I could cap this and be safe? Mm, it's very hard because he has got really good view range and I can't spot him, man. So I don't know, dude. We either wait or... This cap has no cover at, at all. I cannot hide there because he'll spot me from there. I cannot hide... I can maybe hide there. But then he can sneak up behind me. Well, I guess I gotta try, man. I can maybe sit like this here.
Oh man. I have one shell, bro, but I cannot kill him, dude. It's impossible. I was trying to see if I get spotted, but I didn't. So I had genuinely no idea where he had gone. I cannot kill him, man. It's impossible, dude. He's got a way better tank for this fight. You know what? I try pushing him, man. You know, it's his it's his turn to, to try and come, bro, you know? I mean, it's his turn, dude. Yeah, he's got way better view range. I have camo, man. Like, if he's shooting heat, he auto pens me. Because he has really good heat on as well, so... This next battle was absolutely crazy. The enemy 6 DP got really mad and went as far as PMing me after the game. You will soon find out why. We are playing on El Haluf and as with every tank, we start off by playing on the top here. Ah, okay. I'm kinda, kinda contemplating whether, whether I should go for him or not, but I think no. The damage output of this tank is just crazy, but you should definitely be careful and not take too much damage as it is very easy to get greedy in this tank. Okay, let's not trade there, no need. Nice. We gotta start working on the type, man, because once he pushes in, it's going to be very hard to deal with him because he has a ton of HP, dude. Oh, yeah, he's gonna push now. Look, he doesn't care. We don't have much tanks here. That's the problem, man. Nice, 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 nice. As I said, we gotta work on his HP, man. Throughout this video, there is a very important trick that you will see me do every single time I clip out. And that is that I wiggle my turret profusely, left, right, center. In a second, you will see just how important it is. Nice, good, good. Now the gorilla is also one shot. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna get f***ed in the ass by some Manticore or something, man, but hopefully we'll be okay. We have already stacked up 6,000 damage, but this game is far from over, as my allies are dropping like flies, and it looks like I am the only one left in this position. When you see that the enemies have already captured the middle of the map, there is simply nowhere to run, and you must stay and stand your ground. Our allies have completely abandoned us here, but since this tank gets only 22 seconds reload, you shall see why I think this is the best heavy tank for this 15-0 meta. Come on, guys. I will deal with him myself. As soon as I see the 6 DP aiming his next shot, I start wiggling the turret like crazy. As the Gonkievich dies and I am the only one left here, it seems like my game is about to end. Or is it? Nice, uh, nice help. As both the T30 and 60TP flop their shots, we get another chance to unload a clip, and oh boy, this tank is absolutely magnificent. In just 6 minutes you managed to do 9.4 thousand damage all in this situation where the game ended super quickly. Let's shoot the, let's shoot the open field. In this next battle we are playing Siegfried line and whenever you are playing on this map you should always support your lights on the field and start out here. Hitting and getting rid of their lights can be an absolute game changer. Look how, look how aggressive the C5 is man already. Red engine. Oof. Oof. Yo, guys, what is this, man? <laughs> nice roll, dude. Let's reload. Oh, are you kidding me, man? I have the experimental HP module. Man, kill that guy, please. Last 
shoot was bad. As the Minotauro comes around the corner, I have to get away and take the shot from the V4, otherwise they will just YOLO me for free. What are you doing, Minotauro? Are you okay? Oh man. Nice. Okay, that's good info at least. Whenever you see a tank on his own like the Centurion AX in this tank and you aren't a complete one shot, it is always worth chasing. Can you tell me how I get spotted there? Did the AX go back there, up there and he spotted me through the bushes? I don't know man. We have so many full HP guys. Ah look, Test here is taking damage. Sponsor Poland. Okay, so they're both there. I'm hoping this AX will get... Oh no. It's my chance now. We finally spot the Centurion, so it's time we go in and push. And with careful angling and wiggling of the turret, we bounce so many shots, it's crazy. Oh, you four, you, you sold me, bro. Very weird game again. This game on Ensk was absolutely insane. We ended up in a super close situation and as the enemies kept on coming, we were putting shot after shot in. But can we somehow win this? Oh, 40. I'm gonna wait for him to get greedy. We need to wait for this guy to get greedy, man. If he's, if he's hard done and I have to peek into that, that's gonna be... Because I have no gun handling. He already got bored, man. Look. Not many people know about this position, but you should come here with every tank if you want to do nice early game damage. It's super simple and you can easily shoot and punish the zero line from here. I quickly check the minimap and I see that they are pushing the city. That means we have to ramp up the speed and clear this side and go back to defend the base. Okay, let's not waste more time. Enemy mouse is there. As I see that the enemy is pushing, I have to go back and help our guys. As we clip out this object, we need to look for another defensive position quickly and once again, you will see that this tank is just perfect for these typical 15-0 battles. Not many people know, but the 57 Heavy's first sprocket wheel has really troll armor behind it and you can easily exploit this and bait enemies to shoot for no damage. Ah oh, man, tried. We managed to deal a whopping 9000 damage in just 5 minutes. Unfortunately it wasn't enough, but this next game is going to be even more interesting as I get greedy and make a huge mistake that costs me the entire battle. Could be nice man, they have no RD, they have one TD man, they have a lot of HP considering it's tier 8, it's fine. Since this tank has insane close range firepower, coming and fighting here is the best thing you can do as no other tank can outtrade you. Since I see that there's a lot of them sitting hull down, it's best not to greed and just fall back. No way I reload any peaks like this. You probably know already, but if not, the roof of German heavy tanks is extremely susceptible to heat shells and practically paper. Make sure to remember this next time you face a Tiger II or an E75. Oh, there's a lot. 
They're all throwers. No bueno. We cannot pick this. We need to give them some room to breathe, man. If they are stuck on that corner, they will never push. Nice. He's on the fire. I'll just kill the 718 and YOLO. I see that there's a lonely tier 8 chieftain on top, so he's going to be the next one on our dinner plate. This tank feels super unfair when you start clipping a tier 8 like him. We also spot the Batchy 12th and since he's the last light, it is super important to get rid of him. Looking good, man. This is the game I needed, bro. Even a slight chance for 10k, but it's very small. Because all my team is on the other side, chasing that guy. I have to go for the waffle. Oh, and this guy. Here I make an absolute potato move and instead of keeping going around and going for the tier 9 waffle, I stop and try to pen the Lewe, but to no avail. I am extremely out of position and Dynamic quickly realizes this and capitalizes on the moment, punishing me for my mistake and sending me straight back to the garage. Yeah, nice. Nah, that threw that bro. Nah, I threw this. I threw this. This battle was complete dog water compared to this next one, where we ended up in an insanely close 1v3 and along with it the weirdest situation ever. What is the best heavy? Well, <laughs> this thing is actually pretty good in this YOLO meta. A good starting position with auto loaders is here. You just pick the doors and wait for the enemy to peek themselves. Nice. This tank has very limited ammunition, you only get 36 shells, so you shouldn't be wasting it like I do in this clip, because who knows what is about to happen. One out of four man, not bad. As they say man, damage is damage, right? What happened to our team again, dude? As we lose the other flank completely and the enemies are pushing in, we get to see why this tank is extremely powerful in situations like this. I need to get a second reload out here. Waffle! Huh? Woo! It's 3 versus 5 and I only have 11 shells left. From now on I need to aim each and every shot very carefully. Nice. Come on. Come on, stop bullshitting me bro, I only have 4 shells. Concept is not an idiot. Oh wow. As I said, I should have killed that guy a long time ago, man. I was fully aimed the first shot when I shot them, and then I hit the ground. So just shoot him once, man, please. Just once, bro. 
Just once, man. I was really hoping the SMA would shoot him once so it becomes a one shot at least. He didn't. So my only chance was to try my luck and hit him in the side, damaging him and setting him on fire. Now with no shells left, I only have one last option to finish him. And as crazy as it sounds, the goal is to drown him in the corner of the map. I waited so long in hopes of him finding me, but he never did, and unfortunately the game ended in a draw. The moral of the story, you shouldn't face your shots like I did, and Wargaming shouldn't balance tanks based on ammo count, because it just removes a lot of fun factor. We did 8000 damage though, which isn't bad, but nothing can prepare you for this next round, which turned into another insane battle, so keep watching. Okay, I think we can play peek on the bottom, we cannot peek on the top, I think. On Paris, if you're playing auto loaders, you should definitely start over here, and if you're playing a fast one, you can start on top of the bridge and clip the guys that are crossing. And if you're playing a slower one with a bit of armor, I'd recommend you to go underneath the bridge here. The T57 Heavy has a lot of troll armor, so therefore it's perfect for this spot. They all fired actually. Very nice clip, very important clip actually there. We're losing the other side, so we'll have to get and grab every opportunity that we can to clip people, man. Including, I'm gonna pick this guy again in a second, so... Oh man, what the hell. You can see how I position myself. I'm using the pillar in the center to shield me from the guys on the top while clipping the middle. It is especially important to check your surroundings and make sure you are safe while shooting with autoloaders in order to save your HP. Nice. Nice, awesome. I feel like we have to make a make pressure here, but I also don't want to commit there, bro. Let's play passive. Ten seconds later. I'll go catch this Honda man, I think. Oh no. Nice armor, dude. Once again, I wiggle my turret and you can just see how stupidly effective it is at bouncing shells. Let him yellow to be fair. So, now we gotta defend the base. I wanna sit like here somewhere. You know, behind this tree, behind that tree, and behind that tree. Okay. Now that's kind of unpenable. Nice. I have seven. Where's the L uh, 432? I'm gonna reload now. Only have five shells actually. I'm gonna go for the Progetto now. I don't think the S tier is there actually. Where's the S tier? One shell, Paddy's medal with, with the Radley Walters, guys. Oh, it's there, man. Oh no, he's not a one shot, dude. I'll go in and try to take the shot for him, dude. Oh! Oh, but he's not the last tank. No, I forgot it has to be the last tank. Oh man, I could kill that guy right now. Wait, no way. <laughs> you know what? That's better than a Padin's medal. <laughs> In this game we have pretty good matchmaking, and even though Airfield is a terrible map, this tank is an absolute beast, since we'll be playing at close range, and the bad gun handling isn't going to matter. Oh, 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 oh. nasty brother. That is exactly why this is the best heavy man. Face coming around the corner. Goodbye face. <laughs> this guy left. Okay. I can go for the FE heavy. Damn. <laughs> the PZ rocket boosted in for that one shot like it was his lifeline, man. Man, they're, they're flanking us now with every single heavy tank and shit like that, bro. Maybe I'll kill the S or FE now.
Nice. Watch B is yoloing there though. That's not that great. I think I'll go enough for those guys. Was not my proudest clip there, unfortunately. As we don't have that much HP anymore, the enemies start to get braver and braver, and they underestimate the raw firepower of this tank. The insanely good DPM allows you to dish out shot after shot, and you can easily use the short clip reload to your opportunity. Sure about that, 430. Oh man, that last shot, dude. I aimed rather poorly at the end and we could have done so much more damage here if I just survived. This game was an extremely weird one and I got super lucky too, but once again, a perfect example of why I think this tank is crazy good in this 15-0 meta. Is this guy alone here? Looks like... Oh no... I think this tank works the best when you're in the front and are constantly applying pressure on the enemy and trade aggressively. For example, if you have the chance to take just a single shot and trade 4 in return, you should definitely go for it as long as it's not a Yak Panzer or something even more mean. Why the f*** did they heavy tanks go to the 1 2 line, by the way? The E5 and the 6 DP? Man, are they gonna f cap us, dude, really? Since the enemy heavies decided to do a cap rush, I have to make my way towards there and try and prevent them from doing so. Luckily, the middle part of the map offers a lot of vision on that side, and now let's see if we're going to be able to turn this around. How did the BZ get there, by the way? Good job, BZ. Many don't know, but when you're fully aimed with this tank, the accuracy is really good. Reset the base, reset the base. Nice. Nice! Oh my god, already saves it, bro. The CCRNG and the armor hack slowly start to kicking in, and the amount of weird stuff you're going to see in a second is just insane. Ow, what the f bro? This guy didn't die with the 54, you're joking. He survived it! As the 54 is constantly shooting me in the back and the enemy doesn't have as much HP, I go forward to clip the 60 DP with my last two shells. Happy bro. Sayonara. Why is this guy so smart, man? Nice. If you reach 5000 likes, I will release a video with a twist. It will have rounds with only Kolopan of medals. Big thank you to our channel members VC, Arioki, Draconis, Poloplay, Scribus, and Roshambo. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.